This is a two trap limit, dead bait only, blue ribbon trout fishery. So everybody that fishes here, I think gets a ribbon and it's blue. I think that's what that means. Liking it? How's it going over there, fellas? Going good. How's the coffee? Hot. Drinkable? Mm. Really good for being 10 years old. <laughs> it's, it's aged. All right, we are getting ready to roll. It's, uh, it's a little later than normal, but we had a good breakfast, hung out a little bit this morning. Pat and Donnie are going to pull up the rear. Elliot and I are going to run out to the trucks and get some more rope and pull cord just in case anybody gets stuck today. All the snow slid off the roof of that camp last night. Pretty good pile down here. Here we go. Alright, we're going to Lobster Lake. Okay, we made it. Well, I don't know where we're going. Where do you want to go? I think we ought to go down to the Little Claw, fish into Jackson Cove if you want to, or fish on the outside of Jackson Cove. Okay. There's a bunch of little spot. rock islands as you enter the Little Claw, and just keep going down till you hit the, the other end of Jackson Cove. That's where I'd set up the camp or something. So there's pretty much slush the entire way across. Really? Yeah. Yeah. All the way till you get on land again on Jackson's. Now this, this looks going down along the shore looks better. Yeah. It'd be better to go down this way and then swing and then go. I don't know. Yesterday I came across pretty decent speed and then when I went back across I just held her wide open. So but we'll see. I mean, towing, I got a lot of weight. We'll see what it does. Yeah. I don't 
Yeah, you just pick a spot and we'll go to it. What about this narrows? This seems like the funnel. Is this a deep channel? No, this is very deep. Through here. Did you say you want to fish off that point? To me, that would be the best spot. If it's the best spot, let's go for it. It looks like somebody fished here. No, that's the trail. Oh, that's the trail. Yeah, they put those for the whole trail. Well, well, we'll let this group go by, and then I'll get us to that point, and then we're going to fish off that point. Yeah. Is that where you want to fish? Yeah. Okay. Try it. How'd you make it, Donnie? What? How'd you make it? Okay. You know. You can, you can feel it when you hit those spots. There was one that I was just, I was counting down the feet, it just was wide open. Yeah. And then finally I hit some of the good stuff and got back up on it, but I was like, shit. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, they might be fishing too. Yeah. Looks like they're fishing. They're going to go right to that point. Great. Yeah, we're just making a game plan. Where are you guys at? I thought we were going to fish right in through here. Yeah. We were going to hit that point there, but if you guys want it, go for it. There's a little bit of flush in here. Yeah, it does free up a little bit the closer to the campsite. Looks like there is the flop right there. Yeah. That's the guy that gave you the flies that flopped your leg. Oh, no Hey! Yeah. yeah, exactly. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? Both you guys. You remember, Donnie? <laughs> Yeah. Fancy seeing you guys on he's here. On, yeah. He's on all my YouTube show, shows I've when we're up here. Couple. <laughs> yeah. If you guys don't remember, he gave us the winning flies at the last episode so of Don. Hey, oh. man, we, we hit him good. Them. We hit yeah. him good. It was nonstop. Yeah. yeah. We didn't even get there for a couple video. days. Yeah. yeah. You're yeah. the guy that Judy Norton gave the, uh, the uh, real wraps with. Yes, is that her name? Judy. Yeah, I didn't. I never called her name. Yes, Judy Norton. Nice lady. The bait lady. Yeah, wicked nice she lady. She and her husband Ben, they were, they were next door neighbors to me for years. Oh, no kidding. And uh, I lived in Cumberland, they lived in Falmouth, but we were right on the line. And wow. uh, yeah, they made their money selling bait. So that's why she's called the bait lady. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they used to sell lobster bait for years. Yeah. Huh. Wow. They lived down in Tennis uh, Harbor now. Right yeah. We, uh, we couldn't get in here. We didn't know how to get in here yesterday yeah. from where we were. We had to break a lot of trail. Yeah. We, we from fished on yeah. Moose Head off Eddie Ravens. Yeah. They caught you a know. couple yesterday. Yeah. So we, were, we were thinking about getting in here today. Next couple of days we get set up. Yeah. Where'd you so come in from today? We came in basically the loop road. Yeah. 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 But uh, his camp's in between the loop road. Yeah. In the middle of it. So we had yeah. to break trail to get yeah. trail. Yeah, that was over here. Yeah, well, this goes out to Eddie Raymond. Right? That's how I came in yesterday. It's brutal. Yeah, right through yeah. the woods there. It sucks. Brutal. And then that, that that other stretch. Brutal. Well, it's, it's if, you out, if you go out, come out of the woods. Yeah, with big trail. Yeah, you can't because if you take coming to some of those lefts, there's some big washouts. You wouldn't probably be able to get through with the toads. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, that it. stretch huh. sucks. It sucks hard. And it, he's not grooming anymore. He no. used to groom down. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. too tight now for a groomer. Yeah. But it was like, it was so bad. I just ended up going fast. You yeah. ate it because it was so. You yeah. know, go slow. You eat yeah. every one. Oh yeah. It was like when you get on a cord roller. Really, really. Where'd you guys come in from? Caribou. Caribou. Nice. Yeah. We went up to Chamberlain yesterday. How was it? Uh, slow. Real slow. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, real slow. You were up there earlier. Uh, about really? three weeks ago when it was on fire. Yeah. It was yeah. 20 rookies a day. Uh, we think we got the spot right there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I, I, they yeah. did real well in August over there. So. Yeah. There's, a, there's kind of a rock reef that goes down through there. Yeah. And it drops off on each side. And uh, I've had good luck there. Yeah. It's open water fishing. Okay. You guys mind if we fish near you? Yeah. We were we were gonna head to that point. Be honest with you. We just stopped here to talk it over. It doesn't bother yeah. me. I'm well, traveling light. Yeah. Most of the time, I don't know if I'm going to fish or not. Yeah. Most of the time, I don't yeah. because I wait to see if anybody else is catching fish before I put my traps in. Right. Yeah. We said we'd give this a couple hours, and if it's slow, we're going to pick up and go over to Ragged. Well, we'd like to get the young fella some fish. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh. So we have we have a mutual friend, Tom. 
Tom Sawicki. Yeah. 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 He's he, the one that told me about the video. He said, no, he he's like, yeah, you're on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> and he sent me the link. Yeah. yeah. Tom's a great guy. Yeah, he sure is. He and Small I have world. done a lot of fishing over the years. Yeah. Uh. yeah, he was telling me about you guys throwing rocks at the boys out in the canoe or something. Oh, and throwing yeah. rocks out, making it sound like fish. And yeah. The and the boys were like, oh, he's a jumper. They were like seven or eight. <laughs> like, oh, that's another one. <laughs> They're, They're all casting. around us. <laughs> They're in the woods throwing rocks. They're oh. fly fishing in their bathing suits. Yeah. <laughs> it was a slow day fishing. We had to give something to talk about. Yeah. Well, we were so thankful you gave us those flies. Good. I'm glad yeah. it worked that out. That was man. awesome, man. You were right. Everything you said, yeah, every man. one of them, you're like, you got to throw this color here and then. Yeah. That's great. Sure as heck. I couldn't remember the names of them, yeah. so I renamed them. Yeah. Oh yeah, you renamed them all. Grandpa's Green, Green Grundle. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa's Green Grundle. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's, that's so funny yeah. that we're in this, in this remote wilderness and Donnie picks the spot. There's a group coming and they go right to it. <laughs> that's the way it always goes. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they know too. Well, do you want to head down? Where do you want to go? Like this maybe, side of the point? Maybe, yeah, just out from the point a bit. And like this, this side or yeah. past them? Uh, I don't want. I don't want to crowd them. No, I don't either. You know, I feel bad now, even though that's where we're heading. Maybe go. You know, if you were, if you drove I just mean, a little wanna, bit faster, if, if we could add that spot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're right. not kidding. Yeah. He'll bounce it like yeah. he did in college. <laughs> yeah. About four foot short. You be safe because you won't be able to block it. We know that. I lost my hand. Yeah. Where is it? I don't know, way back. You oh, lost it? Watch this. When we were going through that thick. Watch this trick. Oh, oh really? I don't fall for snowball trick. <laughs> I invented the snowball. Yeah, he's right, he's right where that reef. That they reef. took your spot, Donnie. Yeah. But that guy, Jesus. that Armenian from Watertown, yep. who used to fish here open water, he'd go right down the middle of this, right back and forth. Right back That's and forth. That's the guy that was All catching those 18 pounders? Yeah. I, I saw some 16s come out of here. Is this where you want to be? It's good. Because we can move. I mean, right here? Right here. Yeah, we got the flush. Look at that. Where's Donnie going in that Donnie slush? Going for it? Yep. Donnie doesn't care. come up with 63 years. There you go, bub. It's Donnie's birthday next week. Is it? Yeah. Is it? <laughs> you get a little milk now, son. Want to shovel it or leave it? Shovel it. Just bear it. Just smoke it. Look at that. You don't even have to. You got a sounder, Joe? I've lost more sounders to Pat. <laughs> they actually call them sounder, Pat. Right. Return the sounder. I'll hook it on. You don't want to lose that? No, this is how he usually hooks it. He goes like this. Look. He just goes like that around it. Then he's like, I've lost your sounder, sorry. Give me another one. Give me another one for my day. How many? 70? What is wrong with that reel? Nothing. Holy cow. It's got a drag. Why is it? You gotta tighten or loosen that. Well, let's just send her down first. You gonna throw a sucker on this one? Yeah. What are you looking? Foot off bottom? I'm counting. Going stuck out there or something? I think he's waiting for a drill and bait. Don't Jeez. go. That real junk. It's not junk. It's set perfect. They're right there. They're right there. What do you want about a foot off bottom? Yep. Yeah. Right, so you got your trap here. Let me measure that. 
there and then foot. We're gonna notch it or put a rubber band in it. We call him the rubber band man. This is like full service to go home and fish, <laughs> right? He doesn't even have to get out of the shack. I didn't even have to get up, probably, but I did. You could have rode here the whole way. So did that sled ride any good? It was that pretty friggin' nest. Do you want oh. to cut his belly? Yeah. Oh. Oh, this has been in the bag for a couple of weeks. That's good lobster bait right Actually, here. this is what I brought up to. All right, where do you want it hooked? Right there. meat on the bone. Not a lot. Should have put a bigger hook on it. Oh man, it stinks. We got some water here. I know. What'd you measure? I, I counted 62, but that was just doing this. I bet you're right. This is nice that it's not going to freeze up, otherwise this would be a I mess. Know. It's funny, we're not going to see this trap at all. We're only going to see when the flag's above the snow. I know. A lot of guys will put a weight on there so it goes down quicker. I know, but the fish see that. That's a lazy man's fishing. <laughs> Gotta put one lazy man fish. One sixteenth ounce split shot. And seventy and foot on mosquito hook. Owner only. Unless you have gamagatsu, then those are the best. We're getting there, buddy. I got a bunch of them. Three turns descended. I can You want me to do the smoke. rest of this for you? I can't wait. Yeah, put it right on the ice. <laughs> I was hoping you'd get that. You happy with that? Perfect. Alright, where to? Full service ice fishing at your service. Okay, great. What do you want it, Donald? Alright, what do you want it? It's right here. Oh! <laughs> oh that's a nice shot. Now the slush. You want a sucker or a sea smelt or a lake smelt? No. Lake smelt, sea smelt, or lake. Jack smelt, lake. Little tiny smelt, lake smelt. Salmon? Salmon. Right under the ice? Oh, I'm gonna sound it. No, you gotta go right under. You sounding it for salmon? No. Three feet under the ice is what you You want one of these guys? Yeah. Or one of these guys? One of these. Careful. You ain't holding on Thank much. you. <laughs> Take the whole thing out. Let's work. Look how that runs. See when the fish is swimming? See that flag does that? Yeah. But a lot of guys that have these don't set it down, but I I like to set it down in the tripper mode. Yeah, yeah. I do. Oh you do? Okay. I set it down. A lot of guys don't, and then yeah. you just have to look at these up all day. No, I don't. I set them down. Yeah, because then at least you know if you've had a hit. Right. And you can right. set it you can set it in and there's two grooves. You can set it in there. Or further in. That's how you do it right there. See if you still get the trap. Across. What trap do you want? Larger, Any of the big balls. Larger Barberts. Can you get him a sucker? I got one right here. <laughs> oh, he got you so bad. Okay, pick your own, Bobby. You want sea smelt? You want a sucker? Oh, a sucker? Are there any in here? There should be a full bag of them. There's none of them. Check the little... bottom of the floor. There's suckers here somewhere. Are they in this thing? No. Nope. There's no suckers in there. Donnie got a baby, I got the big sea rod. You gotta take oh, I think we actually took the weight off this too, didn't we? Damn, we're Scottish specials. Mm. I'm gonna bite the head off. It's not a big one. Oh, that's plenty. Well, that's a pretty one, holy cow. I lay the belly rod open, you don't do that? I get all the stuff out. I like to have the guts kind of shoving it up a little bit. There's a cusk in here too guys. I got about 65 feet of water there. What did I say? 62 feet on my counting? Yeah. Be close. I gotta have one of those sea smells. Hey. You want another hole drilled too Donnie? They smell pretty right Donald. You want a different one? They're all the same. Thank <laughs> you.
That's good? Yeah. Yeah, how much water here? All of that. Yeah. We got some snow coffee going, give you a little mid-morning update. We have not had a flag yet. We only got one trap in each because we've all been doing a little bit of jigging. I bounced around and hit about 10 different spots from depths of 90 to 40 foot. And I haven't marked a fish yet, so they could just be inactive or there could be not many fish here. This is a two trap limit, dead bait only, blue ribbon trout fishery. So everybody that fishes here I think gets a ribbon and it's blue. I think that's what that means. We all get a participation one for coming out here and fishing. But we're about to have some camp coffee, some nice snow coffee. Once that thaws out we'll put the coffee grinds to it. How's your morning going guys? Oh, it's going great. Yeah. I'm glad the weather's nice here. You know it's probably what 35 degrees? Yeah. A little bit of breeze, not much wind. Yeah. Very comfortable for ice fishing. Too bad there wasn't more activity, but that's the way it goes in fishing. That's why they call it fishing. No, <laughs> I'm not drinking that. Oh, it's that puts a little taste to the coffee. I guess so. You don't want the yellow snow? No, no. All right, we'll put it back. These guys won't let me have any fun at all. They never let me have any fun at all. <laughs> and you see that long mm -hmm. line on it, which is Big Spencer. There used to be a fire tower on top of that, which I think, Elliot, you climbed that? But uh, Bobby and I climbed it, and uh, about halfway up the mountain, the uh, ranger used to stay there, and, and he'd have to go up the last the last part of it was the steepest and they'd have ladders going up these steep ledges so it was a bitch of a climb to do it every day which he had to do but the tower has been dismantled and I understand that Homeland Security has put a uh, some sort of device up there to track fishermen on Lobster Lake <laughs> so we, we better be careful. <laughs> Don't say anything bad about them. Katad and his oh Katad, Katad as Katadin. they say out of state. If you get out out there, in the bigger part of the lake, you can see Katad. And where's Mount Patrick? Mount Patrick is sitting <laughs> over there on his snowmobile, <laughs> having a great time. But I wanted to tell you, when we came here in the 50s, there was a camp down at the end of the little claw here. And then we always, Al, my old fishing buddy, I used to call that the Green Camp. And it was originally built and owned by a doctor. But legend has it that Babe Ruth came here to dry out. He had a little drinking problem. This doctor, which was a, was a well-known, apparently, doctor somewhere, brought Babe Ruth up here, and he had no place to go. The only, the only way you could get in here would be by boat. The doctor had a boathouse with, a, like, a 28-foot uh, boat in it. Oh, wow. A power boat. He had, it, when we came in the, in the uh, late 50s, the place was abandoned. Nobody, nobody came there. It had been abandoned for quite a few years. It was all open. Uh, we went down. There was china in the kitchen. Everything. It was just like somebody walked away. Hmm. And they had, believe it or not, they had a regular toilet in the house, in the cottage. And they had a dug well. Huh. They brought in a well driller at, somehow and drilled a well there. So that had to have been done. I would say in probably the 30s, maybe late 20s. Wow. Yeah. And you brought Al up here a lot of time, and you never got him dried out. No, he's never <laughs> dried out. He, he died at 95, I guess. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm wondering why the Smithsonian didn't call up and ask for his liver. <laughs> because it was a miraculous thing that he could survive 95 years with all the alcohol that went through his system. Who's that? Uncle Al, my mentor that brought, yeah. brought me up here originally. Oh, there it goes. He brought Donnie up here when he was knee-high grasshopper. Yeah. Moby Dick was a minnow. <laughs> Donnie was 16 years young. His nose was all wet. He was, behind his ears. He was dating Al's niece. No, I had no date with Al's niece. Yeah, Tommy my writes. My cousin. He was dating his cousin. No, he, he <laughs> was my dating cousin was cousin. dating Al's Oh, daughter. I thought you were dating your cousin. No, 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 no. Didn't you marry your cousin? No, 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 no. That's the Johnston family creed. You can't eat it in your pants. Keep it in the family. You're, you about ready for some coffee? You want some Dunsters? I'd have a Dunster. It's Dunster. No, Dunster. Get the boy something to eat. He's starving. Drive a Crescent. Sugar Crescent, India. Yeah. I like sugar. You ready for some of this caffeine? Yeah. You got sugar in that? No. Okay. Stick one of those, Andy, those candies in it. Stick one of them donuts in it. Look at the snow fleece on the top of that coffee. <laughs> Look at that. It'll snow add, fleece. It adds a little taste to it. Don't worry yeah. about it. Minor. Minor, Donnie. Pat, cup of coffee drive into you? Yep, come get it. Boy, where'd you go to... Who gave you? You'd never go into Moody's and buy a Moody's mug. Yeah. Somebody must have given it to you. Yeah. Running it. It's just it moved it a little bit. Oh, it could little. just be the bait. No. Open that tripper right. Don't touch it. So you want to open the tripper right up, so there's no resistance. Is the real? Yeah, the, the real, real did move. Was the real hitting the ice? No. I think it was hitting the ice. See there it goes. All right, Elliot, so what we're going to do is eventually I'm going to pick this trap right up. You're going to grab the line and you're going to yank it hard like this. Let me see your hand like that hard okay. to set the hook. And then you're just going to keep fighting them like this and throwing the line to the side, okay? Okay. Is there something on there slow? Yeah. Probably cast, yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing it. I was just wondering if they're just mouthing it. Yeah. And uh, hadn't really taken it. We should let them eat it, I guess. I'm worried that that reel was hitting the side of the ice. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, he's he's taking it. All right, Elliot, you ready? I guess so. Okay, we're recording, so don't don't get down yet because we don't know which way he's going because this is that dark line. All right, so. You, it looks pretty well straight down. You can probably yeah. go from there. Go ahead, give it a yank. Is it there? Yes. And lay it, lay it right down on the side. There you go. Keep laying it down. Keep them coming. Any size? Yeah, Any resistance? Yeah, very little. Definitely a fish, though. Yeah, hard to say. All right, keep it coming. Could be small burbot. He didn't take much. Still feel like a fish? Yeah, it's one more than any. Yeah. Could be small, Burbot. Nope. <laughs> well, something mangled it. Huh. Let's get it right back down. Yeah. Too ragged, we go. There's some pretty good depth in this lake. Yeah, we fished, when we fished here last year, we fished the really deep, like, 100 foot, 120 foot hole over there. But we didn't have anything all day. But when I, uh, when we came camping out here this summer, I went on ice shanty and tried to see what a bunch of people said about fishing out here. And they said the little claw. But I guess her uncle fishes out here. And he said the little claw. Yeah, no bait. 
Stripped you. Yeah. You need one? No. You got some? You need some? No, we have some right here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. <laughs> Thank you. It's not uh -oh, lunch time. Yet. This must be out. I just went out, it sounded like. Yeah. Change this to forest, Joey. I feel like. Oh. No. I can go back and get the shovel. Will she go without you on it? Hold on, watch. There you go. Oh. How do you like that slosh, buddy? We got slush, we got wind, we got mountains. The only thing we don't have is fish. <laughs> Blue ribbon trout fishery. Blowing straight sideways out here, fellas. Nothing, nothing moving. Okay. Well, let's let it eat. Yeah. These these 12 inches need some time to eat those eight inch. That smell. one's blowing like a sieve. I'm telling you, Patch, he's blowing straight sideways. Wow. What do you think, Donnie? Oh, Is this gonna be the lobster lake monster? It could be. Oh, no. They they keep an eye on this blue ribbon waterway. <laughs> They Make sure somebody, nobody's poaching it. They got somebody in an office in Washington, D.C. Sits there 24 hours a day. Sits there and watch. Scrolls through us. What? Make sure nobody's catching too many fish. Right. Because they'd have to regulate this even harder. <laughs> they'd put her down to a one trap limit. One trap. Half a dead bait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not like. Oh, that's a decent sign there. A little bit, but it's picking it up. All right, so pull the line. Now, don't yank it yet. All right. All right. Now, slowly until you get tension. When you get tension, give it a yank. More than the bait. Keep lifting. You're a long ways from where we were set. It, yeah, it took it about 10 foot. All right, right there is where it is bottom. Now you should feel the bait. Are you feeling the bait? You feeling a fish? Yeah. Give it... Yeah, there you go. That's a fish, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Come on, Elliot. Good one, bud. Um, Pulling hard? Not, not with it, bud. No. No, it's a fish. I think. It's not really running. It's, yeah, it's moving side to side. Save us, Elliot. Save us. Save us from the sky. 
Yes, it's a fish! Monster! <laughs> Woo! All right, Lobster Lake Lunker. What is that thing? I think it's a toad, or it's gonna be. I don't know. He gagged on that. Yeah. I've never seen one with a toad with stripes on it, that's but I've also never seen one this small. That's a tiger stripe. That's a split. I've never seen a toad with stripes. It's pretty so small. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, send them. Good job, buddy. You got rid of our skunk? Wow. He was just a little bit bigger than the bait we caught him on. And like, I have dropped the camera on something like that once before, and it was just straight air bubbles. Hold that for a sec. You got a fish on? I think I do. There's just the bait. I think it's the same size. Go ahead and reel there. No, I think it's just the bait. Eh, maybe not. It's feeling baity. Now it's feeling like a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> he couldn't even trip the flag. Look. Got one. Same thing as mine. Yep. He could not even trip the flag. Another 12 incher there. They're coming on now. Donnie! Alright, guys, another little toad. We'll go going back. Slosh. That is awesome. That's a heavy load back here. This thing was kind of like pulling an anchor. And we put the weight as far back as we could, but she just chewed up the slosh. Yeah, the RPM is pretty high, but didn't really stop. Slowed down one patch of slow. I, I should have set over on virgin snow, but I tried to see how it was through that patch that was already broken. And we buried it. <laughs> but oh, still yeah. made it out. Good job. Let's see if Donnie makes it. Come on, give it to her. Give it to her, Donnie. Give it to her. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. He's almost there. Oh. Come on, Donnie. Come on. Now that we need the little 370 that could come through with 370 pounds on it. Uh -oh. oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, bad. What was that? Look at it. It's going sideways. I say we might as well be jet skiing out here. Well, that's it for the fishing part of this. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot of fishing. There wasn't a whole heck of a lot of fishing video today. <laughs> Elliot got one, I got one, tinies. I guess fishing Lobster Lake without a lot of experience or no experience at all is kind of like buying a scratch at your local, at your local convenience store. Give me one of them $10 scratches. See if you win or not. Cause there are giants in there and you hear about monster tog, but. I got a feeling there's a lot of people who strike out there too. All in all, beautiful day. Incredible day on the water. It got a little windy and chilly towards the end of the day, but it was it was pretty warm and sunny for a while there. It was cool running into Doug and Josh and that crew too. That was kind of cool running into those guys. So I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow, if we're gonna go back out and try that again or not, but we'll see. I will say this snowmobile is just impressing the heck out of me every single day I use it. I didn't know what it could do in that slush, and that slush was 
pretty good slush out there and long long pockets of it and she's no problem at all so i'm building up more and more confidence in the machine I'm, but i'm being real cautious going into it to start Honey, starting dinner yeah if you start tonight we'll be ready for breakfast in the morning <clears throat> what's the plan fellas get this man going I'm trying to think of if you've ever in my life beat me in cribbage. Even one time. Yep. I taught him how to play this game. <laughs> Ooh, this is a tough one. Should I mess around? Yeah. Right, just gamble. Total mess around. Gamble on one hand. Okay. Top. Top. I already got him. If it's a four, you're in trouble. Ten. You know, I've often quoted the the line from the golden age of Hollywood from one of the studio moguls. Eighteen. Twenty-five. Oh, Daddy. 32. 10, 12. Pat. Pat gets two gators. Wow. Oh, you're not throwing this? No, I don't think I will. Oh, my God. Is this cordon blue? Well, not quite, but something like that. Is it baked stuffed chicken? Wow, Donnie. That's a heck of a woods meal. What's that garbage? That is corn casserole. Corn casserole. Corn casserole. And stuffed chicken. And stuffed chicken. And hot taters? Hot taters. What else? That's it. Oh, man. That's it. <laughs> Good job, Donnie. Oh, yeah. Thank you for making it. like... Heck of a dinner. Tastes like crap. Pat. Looks good. Oh, God. Thank goodness. I thought you'd lost your tongue. <laughs> you guys were all talking enough for all of us. I'm oh, my sure. God. You like that Stella stuff? Corn, yeah. good. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do tomorrow, guys. We're pretty much not going back to lobster, right? Right. Well, guys, that's going to do it for today. Pretty slack day today. Pretty, pretty slack. But that's par for the course for lobster. Yeah, we rolled the dice, went for giant fish big bait, dead bait, not many lines, and pretty well struck out. Yeah, yeah. You got two little ones, two babies. Way it goes.